hi how are you so allow me to show you two tricks or rather maybe two or three that you can be able to use and this one will be one converting an any time automation into our api so this is what we'll be doing the first one then the second one will be what we have here whereby you can use two different nodes merge them into one data set and then just proceed with the automation instead of having to maybe many this is what we'll be having we'll be having maybe this kind of an automation where you have two different sets because you are using two different data source but this is what you can use where you can merge this one and then the third one will be using any automation as a tool so the first one whereby we are just trying to use these two data sets so this one will be quite simple we'll just be having your two data sources so this is what we have and this is what we have but now when it comes to <coughs> our node let's just test this yeah okay so let's start so the first one whereby we want to use any automation as an api the end goal will just be having a http or maybe a html that will be able to return your data to your webhook so this is what we'll be having let's just have this here so and anytime we decide maybe to run this one remember on this one we have respond to the webhook and then our webhook, our webhook will just be returning a nice html so this is what we'll be having once we decide to run our webhook and then you can just see this is what will be the table or maybe it's just the, the data set this is what we'll be having that is the first one and so if maybe you don't want to return the raw html you can just decide to return this data as just a simple how do we call it just a simple json that you can be able maybe to pass into another system so as you can see this one let's say for example let's test this one so this one will just have an intent.io and then run this and then you can just observe what happens here are the results perfect so what happens is uh, this node returned our our table but for these two other nodes this data set uh, for this node this data set was a raw html that uh, was a raw data so here is what we have we'll be having the raw json so if you want to pass this data to another system it will be much much easier this is what you'll be having but in the case whereby you just want to return this information back to your webhook this is what you'll be having however you can just present this data as a nice html system that is the first trick then the second trick is what we have on this one we'll just pin and open here whereby we have two types of data so in this one let's say in this case we got our data from our form so this one will be enter url and that is what we'll be having here in the other case let's say we had our webhook responding <coughs> the kind of data set we'll be receiving on this one will be a bit different so once we have this kind of a different data set what do we do we'll just come and say we need to check for two options one either this information alternatively we want to check the other field so this one will just be giving you a default fallback in my case we have users who will be using http dot https in some other cases users also might be using any tender.io we also need to have a fallback for these two systems that's why we have updated this one to have less same if these people are if the url is either these two this is what we'll be outputting but if we don't have a https then we can just add that one to the final response so if my users will just choose any tender.io or maybe the users will use https the results will just be the same for this one so that's the second trick then the third trick will be using a web a workflow as an api or maybe just using a workflow as a tool so this is what we'll be having whereby we can just decide to strap our website so if i had replaced this one with a http node whereby we are saying add our website so this one will be expression so this one will be having from ai and then we'll say from our ai probably we'll say let's get our website url and then we'll be scrapping our website analyzing that information and then returning this data back so instead of us doing this what we can just do is remember we had mentioned this one is an api we can use this as an api so we are just routing this information instead of us getting the html we'll just be trying to get our raw data and this is the this one is the same as this one 
uh, by uh, returning some raw information and then just giving this data part to a webhook. Remember, once you set this respond to webhook, the final node has to be a respond to webhook. So if we were to ignore this one, let's say just have that, this information will not be returned to a webhook since our webhook will be expecting some kind of response from this one. So that is the main explanation. It might sound a bit confusing, I know, but once you get the wrap of it, it gets much easier. I hope this one helps a bit. Thank you.